Just for a moment, try to picture the future not as an abstract idea, but rather as a real-world creation that has been crafted by the daring brains at DARPA. In our world where defense and innovation collide, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency shines as a guiding light for innovations that have never been seen before. What we are about to show you is but a glimpse into the unusual, where the frontiers of what is possible are stretched to their absolute extremes. Get ready to see the astounding narrative of invention and strategy. Shortly after the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1 in 1958, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency was formed as part of the U.S. Department of Defense's Office of Advanced Research Projects. The U.S. administration took note when it became clear the Soviets were planning to launch missiles into orbit in addition to satellites. A one-of-a-kind agency with a mountain of cash at its disposal was born out of this. The goal of DARPA is to develop cutting-edge military technology. Everything from bionic insects to missile shields in space is part of the agency's portfolio. Coincident with this, we saw the birth of the internet, the first mouse for computers, global positioning systems, robotic hoover cleaners, and Siri. Here is what makes DARPA's investment stand out. This is because, unlike other organizations, it is not looking to pocket any of the profits. It is rather merely trying to spur technological advancement and see where it takes us. The ARPANET, which launched in 1969 and formed the basis of the current internet, was the agency's first major achievement. The first message was transmitted between computers at Stanford University and those in California over this network. The IP protocol, which is still fundamental for data transmission on the internet today, was developed under an order from DARPA on January 1, 1983. Although only two out of five letters of the message were able to transfer at that time, the network became the first in the world to switch to data packet routing on January 1, 1983. In 1964, Charles Rosen, who was in charge of the Artificial Intelligence Center at the Stanford Research Institute, suggested that the Advanced Research Department build an intelligent, automated machine. The constructed robot was expected to be capable of working as a scout or patrol officer, and the funding was authorized based on that assumption. The shaky robot was born out of this. It was able to interpret plain English instructions, recognize its own environment, form plans, recover from errors in planned execution, and extract implicit facts from explicit ones, according to the description. A rangefinder, video cameras, and collision sensors were all part of the robot's equipment. The control computer was contacted over the radio. Web server development, robotics, video game production, and Mars rovers all owe a debt to Shakey's work in software design, computer vision, navigation, and planning tools. Like self-driving cars, autonomous robots were an early and primary focus for DARPA. The government set aside billions of dollars in the 1980s to fund the Strategic Computing Initiative, which aimed to encourage their development. Creating AI methods applicable to various domains was the objective. Boston Dynamics' first quadruple-legged walking robot and the first fully autonomous autos are among the outcomes. Get ready to be amazed as I unveil more incredible inventions by DARPA. In the early 2000s, DARPA sponsored a series of robotic races with the goal of promoting the development of unmanned vehicles. These races are considered the genesis of modern unmanned vehicles. In 2004, just one of the many hopefuls for the $1 million prize made it past the relatively easy 12-kilometer mark in the planned 240-kilometer event. In 2005, five automobiles managed to cross the entire distance at once. With a prize pool of $2 million, DARPA staged yet another race in 2007. While navigating the city, autonomous vehicles were required to follow traffic laws and communicate with one another at junctions. The initial four Boston Dynamics Big Dog robots, which were unveiled in 2005, were funded by DARPA. This 110-kilogram, 91-by-76-centimeter robot could climb a 35-degree sloped mountain, travel at 6.5 kilometers per hour, and carry a load of 150 kilograms. The project was ultimately canceled due to the robot's excessive noise, despite DARPA spending $42 million on it. Regardless, Spot and Atlas, two robots, were also inspired by Big Dog. Incidentally, Boston Dynamics has developed a plethora of robots throughout the years. This includes several that have served military functions. A film previously showcased all of these creations. Among the agency's initiatives have been and continue to be highly unique developments. For instance, the Energy Autonomous Tactical Robot Program sought to develop bots that could grow their own food and refuel themselves on the spot, eliminating the need for external power sources. Or there's Engineering Living Materials, which tries to develop materials that can heat themselves for use in construction. As 3D printing of organs and tissues becomes more commonplace, DARPA plans to apply this technology to build hybrid materials with the ability to generate and sustain the growth of synthetic cells. It is possible to cultivate these materials utilizing locally accessible resources. Back in 2006, 
there was this wild idea called the Hybrid Insect Microelectromechanical System Spy Beetle. The developers went so far as to showcase a cyborg bug transmitter prototype in 2009. The fact that the agency announced the start of developing tiny robots to control insects in 2018 suggests that this strategy was unsuccessful. Robots created for the new SHRIMP program, an acronym for short-ranged independent micro-robotic platforms, will be based on the tiniest variants of these systems, hardly larger than insects. In addition to analyzing terrain, the robots will be swift enough to fly, lift things, and jump. Even more bio-inspired robots are on the way from DARPA. The organization recently made an announcement about the presentation of a fully functional robot worm next year. This worm will have the ability to tunnel at a pace of 10 centimeters per s. Two and a half million dollars have already been set aside for the Underminer project. For rapid formation in urban and megacities combat, tunnels are an absolute necessity. Systems-based neurotechnology for emerging therapies was a major DARPA initiative that aimed to develop closed-cycle systems for the diagnosis and treatment of psychoneurological disorders through implantable technology. A brain implant to aid soldiers in their battle against PTSD and other issues is the basic goal of the program. Curiously, DARPA had stated its intention to develop a chip that would enable the military to command drones and battle robots solely through mental commands when it started developing neurointerfaces. The development of the brain chip is ongoing in some form or another. Will DARPA AI be able to replace human pilots in the Air Force? Robotic pilots and AI that can manage aircraft and helicopters, especially war ones, are another important part of DARPA's research. Now we may test the alias system on Sikorsky UH-60M Blackhawk helicopters one last time before the year comes to a close. There will be autonomous and remote missions in the test program. Alias systems are software-driven, voice-enabled, and equipped with robotic pilots. With just LiDAR and cameras, any Blackhawk in the US Army's fleet may have alias installed. Air Combat Evolution is the name of DARPA's artificial intelligence training system that will one day be able to pilot a combat plane and execute maneuvers at close quarters. Using the Virtual Air Warfare Alpha Dogfight Trials, the latest neural network algorithms were evaluated for their development. Keep in mind that during these, AI was able to outscore a professional US Air Force pilot by a resounding 5 to 0. In order to outmaneuver humans, the next generation of neural network algorithms will need to master fighter and flight control. The combatant has already started getting ready for this event. Both air and sea autonomous vehicle technology piqued DARPA's curiosity. The agency recently made an announcement that it was prepared to finalize contracts with three private companies under the Sea Train program for the supply of long-range uncrewed ships. The objective is to decrease wave resistance to increase the range of underwater drones. Once they have covered enough ground, the drones will fly in different groups to complete their missions. They will then reassemble as a train on the return. At the price of drones, the United States plans to soon boost the size of its fleet to 355 ships. Mark Esper, the United States' Secretary of Defense, just made the announcement. In addition, he covered the unveiling of DARPA's Sea Hunter surface vehicle and Boeing's Echo Voyager, two prototype underwater drones. It would appear that they will be enlisting in the US Navy. We will be looking at the second worldwide objective of DARPA now. This objective is the development of swarm intelligence, which refers to the utilization of robotic teams to execute complicated activities. Buffalo University researchers have just won over $300,000 to examine gamers' eye movements and brain impulses as part of this project. A novel approach to training autonomous air and ground robots is being developed with the aim of improving their organization and strategy. To better understand how players react in unexpected scenarios, what they focus on, and the consequences of their actions, scientists will train these robots using an algorithm that processes data collected by the field. There are two additional avenues that DARPA pursues in its robotics research. An example of the former is the Offset Project, which is creating software to integrate several types of ground robots with unmanned aircraft. The group's robots need to work together to complete a task or tasks, and they need to be able to use more than 100 different strategies to do it. Second, there's the Squad X initiative. It entails bringing sensors, robotics, and drones onto the battlefield to help soldiers with a variety of duties. It also includes increasing their situational awareness. DARPA has previously put the program through its paces in a week-long exercise where U.S. Marines coordinated their movements and detected possible dangers in the field using robots and drones. Prior to being transmitted to the military, the data collected from the sensors was processed by AI systems. Future fighting scenarios will likely resemble this. Everyone can remember that the DARPA Robotics Challenge allowed the globe to witness a spectacular display of robot races resembling human races. A number of videos showcasing spectacular bot failures of different designs went viral on YouTube. We shouldn't overlook the importance of expressing gratitude for such occasions, even though they were hilarious. 
intelligent robots like Atlas are living proof of the progress being made in robotics. Do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you never miss a release. Give the video a like and share your comments about the topic in the comment section.